Tonight is the first night staying on our own property. It's raining and I have zero phone signal in the van. But I can't tell you how much that doesn't matter right now. The buildings are wonky as they stand and there's absolutely nothing in sight but land and forests. I always wondered what our own little place would look like. How it was positioned, how big or small it made you feel, and what characters and quirks it would have. But no matter how many times you try and create an image in your head, it never compares. And all of this is yet to come. So welcome to a new chapter in our lives, building ourselves a homestead. I'm not going to say that I was completely blown away at first, because the buildings are deeply unloved and a little broken, but that's to be expected. Nevertheless, a place to call our own is what we've both wanted for quite some time. It didn't matter where exactly, but since the very first day of arriving in Sweden, I've never felt such peace. It's the only place I've been that I've felt truly alone on this planet, and that is something that I absolutely crave, and I didn't realise that until recently. I always felt it growing up where I did, and I love the amount of freedom that I was gifted. For whatever reason, one day this property was abandoned. Plates and cutlery remain along with furniture and pictures on the walls. Exploring this quirky little house revealed so many possibilities for the future. But I can't help but think that one day, many years ago, this place was abandoned and left to rot as though it was no longer worthy of a home. Creaky stairs. The most exciting part is the barn. In a better condition than the house, with an open plan top floor that has endless potential. If there was ever a dream house, I really feel that when we're finished, ours could be it. It's going to be a long road ahead and not being able to start anything proper until the spring gives us plenty of time to plan. Until then, we're going to park outside and daydream about the possibilities that lay before us.